All right, well, just picked this up last night for 1100 bucks. Guy was asking uh, 2500 and I got him down to 1100 from all the stuff I could pick out. So uh, it's a 2004 GTP base model, so it's got the cloth, but he upgraded the radio to an Alpine touchscreen. It's got some work I got to do to it, but I drove it home two hours from Fergus Falls, Minnesota to Brainerd, so supercharged, whatever. What I am going to do to it for sure is spark plugs, um, a power steering pump because it whines really bad and it is the pump. It's not the torque converter. Transmission seems fine. Uh, I mean, it, I mean, it shifts a little lazily, but if that's even a word, but most of these do, but I didn't even on there. Right? And plus I'm taking this off anyways, because I don't, I think there was a recall. I know there was on the older ones, but I think the recalls for this for a fire hazard, but I'm gonna take that off. I see a wire right here. That looks like it was spliced. So uh, I'm going to have to investigate that. I'm going to do new battery terminals. So it's all cheap stuff. I'm going to get a pump right now and a blower motor because the blower motor works when it wants to. And winter's coming, so you kind of need that to defrost. And then I'm going to do wipers, or wiper blades, I guess. I'm not going to bother the front tires. They're pretty worn, but the rear tires are brand new. So I'm just going to swap them to the front. Brakes are fine. Everything else is fine. Engine runs good. It's got an exhaust leak somewhere about halfway down it. So it sounds like a Grand Prix, if that makes any sense. Sunroof works. Like I said, base interior. But it's got an Alpine radio and I got some car soap here so I can wash it because it's super dirty. Clean title, 220,000 miles. I think for 1100 bucks, I'm gonna put some WD-40 on the door hinge too. I think for 1100 bucks, it's not bad. The only real rust is right here on this side. Underneath, it's fairly clean. I mean, the rockers are rusty, but they're not gone. You know, the floorboards are solid, all that. So, I mean, I'm pretty happy with it, but I'm gonna sand this primer that he shot over it down and some of that rust. And then I'm gonna just prime it again and then spray a somewhat closer silver. I'm not gonna paint match it, I don't care. But it'll look better than that. It's got LED reverse bulbs. Need that Viking badge needs to come off. I am a Vikings fan, but I don't like that on my cars. Maybe touch some of this stuff up right here with some silver, like a silver paint, like on a paintbrush. And then there's like not much rust over here. There's a little starting down there and that's it. So it's really not bad. Everything works. Literally everything works. It does have an engine light, so I'm gonna scan that today and we're gonna check that out. I just thought it'd be cool to make another video on a Grand Prix for you guys, so. And I put some of the more primer right here over this scrape. He should have just left the scrape. It would have looked better than that. I hate that. Even the fog lights work. So, yeah. We'll get more into it here. I'm running to Little Falls to a guy. He's got a junkyard at Grand Prix, so I'm getting a blower motor, a good blower motor and a good power steering pump. And uh, we'll get changing on them today. I'm not too excited for the power steering pump. They're not very fun on these cars. Gotta jack this up and get inside the fender liner and because on these dumb things, like on the GXPs and the, the V8s, they're right up here in the front. But on the other cars, they're back here. You can see the power steering reservoirs right there. That's how you check the fluid. I don't know how you're supposed to check that. It's a pain. Let's take this cover off here quick before I get going. And uh, oil's good. Trans fluid's a little old. It smells a little burnt, not too bad. Um, like I said, trans is lazy, but it shifts just fine and smooth, so I don't really care. So right off the bat, we put this back in here so nothing gets in there. It looks pretty decent in there, though. Um, you see the valve covers were leaking. I'm not going to do valve covers. Um, you can see right here, these are famous to break on these. And this is capped. I don't know why. Maybe they're always I don't even know. I have to look. But uh, this is famous. These always break on these things. So if that's holding up fine, I'm not going to touch it for now. <laughs> I know it's stupid, but yeah. These aren't even broken or rusted off, which is a lot of the older ones I get, those are broken. I think this thing will clean up nice. What do you guys think? I also have to do on Wednesday, I was riding and I was just riding on the trail and I don't know where I hit like a rock or something and the axle just snapped right out of socket. So I ordered an axle for this, 300 bucks for that. There's no aftermarket parts for these yet for a 2018 for the axles, I guess. So. At least nothing worth buying so i gotta do that that'll be fun not really but oh uh, yeah 
and I'm going to take the rear wheels off. And when I have all the wheels off, because I'm going to, because it clunks from the front end too. That's the only other issue is it clunks pretty decently. So I'm guessing the tie rods are just gone, not gone physically, but you know, blown out. That's my guess, or they're the struts. So I'll have to check that out. I will have all the wheels off. Like I said, when I swap these to the front, I'm going to paint the calipers again. So they're red again. I just think it looks good on these. Wheels are dipped. I'm going to get as much dip off as I can and then sand on them a little bit and paint them gloss black. Or maybe a satin black, I'm not sure yet. But really, I don't have to spend too much money on this thing. A few hundred bucks. Not even, probably 150 bucks and stuff. Because I have all the paint. I just have to get the blower motor, which is, I believe I'm paying 30 for that, and I'm paying 20 for the power steering pump. So, 50 bucks for those. Driving like a half hour to get them in Little Falls, which is like barely any gas. So, 10 bucks in gas. 20 bucks in gas to go get this thing. It had three quarters of a tank, so I didn't have to put any in it. So, yeah, basically just power steering pump, blower motor, and then cosmetic stuff. And then uh, a couple other little things here and there, spark plugs, and clean it. What do you guys think? Weapon hunter, clean title, 220K. Transmission shifts good. I beat on it on the test drive just to make sure. I beat on it when it was a little cold and then I beat on it when it was warm. Not like fully, like I didn't like spin tires or nothing, but I, you know, I let it shift through all the gears and stuff like that. So looks pretty good, I think, for 1100. Pretty happy, but I'm gonna hop in the old minivan. I gotta pick this mattress up that tipped and go grab these couple parts. It's chilly outside, my ears are cold. Minnesota in end of September, I guess, is cold now. But yeah, it should be.